Hey, how's it going YouTube? Uh, today I mounted my uh, 99 Ford Explorer and I'm just playing around out here. I'm not try actually going to be fixing anything today. Um, what I want to do today is uh, I'm trying to capture a uh, secondary ignition waveform uh, by using my uh, uh, scope meter and I have my uh, adapter and I'm going to be using my um, auto probe here to try to pick up a uh, waveform. This, this is going to plug into here. This is going to go to ground. I'm going to hook it up to the battery terminal. And then this is going to wrap around a uh, spark plug wire. We'll see what happens. Some guys over there are build, building a shed. Looks like. It would make a little noise over there, but I'm going to start this thing up and see what happens. Okay, let me show you what I got here, YouTube. got my uh, scope hooked up. It's turned off right now. I have my adapter going to my BNC. I have my, uh, my ground lead hooked up here to the battery. And as you can see, I just stick in my... Uh, I'm going to go ahead and stick this down here. Stand over here, which is a little quieter. First, I'm going to turn this on. Now you can see that signal; it's going up now, so it's going this way. If it if it was inverted, uh, the way you switch it is just change the polarity by switching it. Let me show you. You see, now it's going down. So I don't want it going down, I want it going up, so I'm going to switch it back. But that's, how you, that's how you change polarity on these, pretty easy. Some lab scopes have an invert button. First I'm going to change the time base. And I'm going to make that go down to about 5 milliseconds. Okay, it's starting to be able to see it. i got to change my range. From, uh, you hit range. and. I'm up at one volt. Oh, going the wrong way. Okay, starting to be able to see the pattern. That's a little too far. About 200 millivolts. <clears throat> I'm going to make this move down. Oh, that's what I'm picking up. That signal right there. You can kick it out. Yeah, I'm just playing around. Let me check a couple other ones. Ooh, that's a bad one. Look at that. That's not good. Oh, there it goes. I got it now. But anyway, just playing around. Okay. This here is my uh, last screen capture I got out there. And you can see that that's definitely a uh, ignition waveform. It was very easy to get a, you know, very, very user friendly. Very easy to use. Very, very easy to get a scope pattern. One of the, one of the, one of the other things is being that this is a, I assume this is like a uh, 20 to 1 attenuator or something like that. I'm not really sure what this is, but it's sending very little voltage. Uh, so I don't really know the conversion factor. Really that thing is meant to hook up to a scope and you can set your scope up for what, you know that particular probe. I was just uh, seeing if it'd work on this scope or not, just playing around. I was having fun out there, just trying to experiment and you know learn a little bit of stuff. But uh, uh, I really like this scope meter, and I was able to get a waveform. Anyway, it is what it is. Like I said, I was just out there having fun playing around.
Uh, today, I'm just uh, playing around with the scope for a little bit. Uh, got my leads hooked up. I was just going to see what kind of waveform I can get off of a wall outlet. Um, so, I'm going to turn this on to voltage. And I'm just going to stick these in the outlet here. And picking up a pretty good uh, waveform. Okay, I'm going to change my uh, range to 100 volt. Got 60 hertz. So that's a uh, pretty good looking waveform. 